Well, hello there. This is Pastor Jerry with another slice of toast. How are you today? Oh, man. I tell you what, this time of year with 17 grandkids and now I've got a great grandchild on the way and five children and plus a whole flock in the church. I want to tell you that I get joy out of giving. Oh, it's nice to get presents, but like so many of us older people, we can afford to buy just about what we want or we have it already. And, and I think that we need to understand that, that James understood this. James says in the first chapter, verse 16 through 17, let me read it to you. It says, do not be led astray, my dear brothers and sisters. All generous giving and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or the slightest hint of change. God, he just, he never changes his mind about giving generously. And then in Acts 20, 35, it says this, by all things I have shown you that by working in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Why is that, you think? Well, Jesus said in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, He said, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use will be the measure you receive. Sometimes we get so worried about what we're going to get, we forget that it's better to give. Oh, it would be nice if everybody said, Well, I got a dollar to give. I'm going to give a dollar gift, and you only got a dollar gift. But I want you to understand that God gives without partiality. He gives the same amount of gift to everyone. He doesn't hold back anything to you. He pours it out generously towards you. He gives you what you have need of and want. And when you give to him a gift like that, oh man, he'll just give more back because he's got more. You know, Mark 4.24 was very direct. It says, and he, take care about what you hear. The measure you'll be will be the measure you receive, and more will be added to you. When you give to God of your time, and your life, your finances, all oh, your heart, God will give you back more, more, and more. When you give it to your children, and you love them, I don't think anybody can outlove you like a young child can outlove you. And I don't think when you serve your family and serve others that you'll ever be without because someone God will stir to come up and help you. This Christmas, give all you got. Don't hold back. See what God will do for you. God bless you. This is Pastor Jerry with another slice of toast from the bread.